Hollywood. Such a magical town, where the stars truly do shine bright. No, not those stars. Those stars. Rick, come on. I thought we were going to the observatory. Oh, yeah. On a mountaintop, more than 1,000 feet above the city of Los Angeles, the Griffith Park Observatory allows for an extraordinary view of the skies above. This historic landmark has recently reopened after an extensive five-year renovation. Oh, look. Here are two young podcasters, Sarah Atwood and Rick Ray, enjoying an afternoon at the observatory. Let's listen in. After looking through a telescope, Griffith J. Griffith became interested in astronomy and felt everyone should have that same opportunity. That's right, Sarah. So in 1912, he donated $100,000 for an observatory to be built for the public. Construction broke ground in June 1933 with a formal opening in May 1935. The refurbished observatory offers many educational and inspirational exhibits, including a 300-seat planetarium, 200-seat presentation theater, three solar telescopes, and the original 12-inch Zeiss refracting telescope. Rick, did you know that the observatory has quite a rich cinematic history? I did. It's been used in hundreds of movies, television shows, as well as commercials. It made its debut in the Gene Autry film, Phantom Empire. But most notably, it played an important role in the classic James Dean film, Rebel Without a Cause. Shortly before his death, he commissioned a bust, which was placed here on the observatory grounds. An interesting piece of trivia is that his first professional acting gig was a Coca-Cola commercial filmed in Griffith Park. Really? Whether on a school trip, family outing, or on an afternoon date, the Griffith Park Observatory is a landmark for all to enjoy. I love this observatory. All this time I've been wanting someone to love me. But now, I love this place. Well, me too. It's Nantarash. Woohoo! Yeah, yeah, yeah.